Okay, so we are ready to do our watering demo and many of you have not maybe met Steph in person, but this is our greenhouse goddess who has single-handedly been uh, the one to, to make the grow kits happen. So thanks Steph, because we've had a lot of fun with those. I am, I am smiling under my mask. <laughs> She's usually smiling under her mask. So we're gonna do a watering demo and if we were in the greenhouse, we would be weighing our trays and we would be figuring out the heaviest they get, so the fully saturated weight, and then just regularly weighing them and um, watering when they get to a certain threshold. So we're gonna put our jiffy of red spruce on our scale, and we've got 3.3 kilograms. So that is less than 50% of our saturated weight, which means we should water them now. So we're gonna take the tray off and well away from the electric scale or electronic scale. And we're just gonna go through a bit of a watering demo. And this may seem um, fairly self-explanatory, but it's, it takes some intricacy because our seedlings are, are very small, of course. And if we have too much pressure, then we can really easily crush them. So we want to give them a nice light watering and we wanna keep the wand moving at all times so that we don't get that heavy weight from the, the droplets. We can also, manipulate the nozzle that's on there so we can see the nozzle here has a very, very fine spray. And that is what is great for our young seedlings. So it doesn't put too much pressure on them. So with, you know, fine uh, droplets coming out, we do have to wave the wand over several times just to try and get those jiffy pellets fully saturated. So when we're watering at home, we water from the bottom and we can watch the water get sucked up. But here in the greenhouse, it's actually a lot trickier to make sure that we've got enough water going to our seedlings. So what we could do is once we're done watering, we can weigh again and we can just make sure that we've got it back up to our saturation uh, weight. Right now, we don't have the appropriate plastic on our scale to do that. So we won't show you that, but that's just a way that we can double check our work and make sure that we're giving them enough water at, at at each watering cycle. Remember that trees like deep, infrequent watering. So we would do this about once a week for each tray, and then we would put it back on the, the bench. Um, and it's important to, to keep it moving and let it fully um, come out of the, the hose, the nozzle, because when it gets the, the big drips at the end, then that can be really harmful. So that's it. Great job, Steph. Thanks for all your help.